G'day everyone, welcome to the Old Jail Ruins of Rove in South Australia. So a little bit of Aussie history for you. Just came up here, a uh, little Christmas Day camping mission with the fans on the side of the uh, lake. Ran into town and discovered this place now, a bit of history. Earth closet. If you ever wondered what this thing was, it's a pooper. Hey, not bad. So, facility opened in 1861. Uh, complex contained four holding cells, a receiving yard and a keeper's residence. As you can see through here, you're getting fucking booked and dragged through. So, a uh, bit of carry on back in the day. Jail security came into question in 1863 when two men managed to escape after making an opening in the back wall of their cell. Mr. William Brown was being held in custody awaiting trial for a uh, pinch of a horse, and a Mr. George Atkin had been committed for forgery. Yeah, they used a uh, hook wrench off a window and window shutter to chip away at the mortar and remove part of the soft stone wall. Uh, the cells were later reinforced with iron plates, believed to have been taken from a local shipwreck, which you can see in the distance. Right. Yeah. So, the facility was closed in 1870 and reopened two years later, probably because they're bolting those big heavy bastards on. And then in another prisoner managed to escape while being taken out to chop firewood. A Greek seafarer by the name of George Catacola dazed one of the screws by hitting him in, in the head with the axe handle. How about he do it? Gonna get locked up so they fired here. two cannons to alert the town and its police troopers, but he did one of these <laughs> ones. He's like, catch us later. Yeah. Uh, they found his uh, body eight months later, salt preserved, on the site of Lake Eliza, probably because he starved to death because he wasn't a hunter. Uh, Roadshade was closed permanently in 1881 because there's not enough prisoners to justify keeping it open. Building gradually fell to pieces. 1940s was demolished and used as road-based rubble. Restoration work in 1995 helped to rebuild the lower part of the walls, creating a popular historic site to visit. So if you're ever in the area, come check this out. It's very cool. 